Today, we're going to start at the top of our mat. Have a block handy if you need something for forward folds, and then a strap if you can't grab your foot behind you. Um, and blankets always comes in handy, too. Have all your props, basically. Let's go to the top of the mat. We're going to stretch it. We're going to have a little flow, probably a gentler flow outside of our crazy two-minute plank. And um, just kind of move through our body and get a full body stretch here. So conditioning, right? Some mobility. Let's stand into Dasana, mountain pose. Feet are hips width apart. Just spread your toes, rock over your feet. Find that connection beneath you to the earth. Are you grounded? And then just hold a little gentle pressing of the toes. So spreading the toes, pressing down a little bit into your feet, pressing into your heels. Imagining roots shooting down from your feet and feeling that connection. So almost like you're being pulled downwards from the feet. And then the other way, we've got the crown of the head without your chin tilting, pulling upwards. Right? So all of a sudden, everything in between starts to open up. And then we open our heart, shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back. Chin is in, so the head's not tilting forward. Get connected to your deeper abdomen. So think about just kind of hugging around the spine, just squeezing into the center. Eyes are closed. Breath is steady. Soften your facial muscles. Start to gaze into your brow and the space right between your eyes, behind your eyes. And then drop down past your throat into your heart center. Rest your gaze here. Open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Once you've found your intention, take a gentle blink of the eyes open, reconnect with your surroundings, and inhale, rise, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, a little bend to the knees, fold forward. Let everything drop. Take a couple of breaths here. Just letting the torso spill over, right? It may not be as high. Just letting everything hang. Get active throughout the legs. We're going to inhale, half fold. Lift the chest so you come as high as you need to to get the chest to open. Exhale, full fold. We're going to bend the left knee. Left hand to the middle of the mat. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Right hand behind the back. This is where that block comes in handy for some of you. Inhale, float the right arm up to the sky. Right hand down to the mat. Both hands to the mat or to your thighs here. Lift yourself half fold. Exhale, drop back down. Right hand in the middle of the mat. Right knee bends. Inhale, lift up. We're just twisting our forward fold here. Left hand behind the back. Scoop that left hip in. Inhale, float the left arm up. Both hands down to the mat. Both legs straight. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, arms out and up. Rise to the sky. Do that again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift into half fold. Exhale, full fold. Get active throughout the legs. Lift up those kneecaps. Bend your left knee. Left hand to the middle of the mat or your block. Inhale, right arm up. Right hand behind the back. Scoop those right ribs up. Right hip into the body. Left shoulder is drawing back. So we're getting a nice opening in the chest. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Both legs go straight. Inhale, breathe. Lift yourself into half fold. Chest opens up. Exhale, we drop back down into full fold. Right hand in the middle of the mat, right knee bends. Inhale, left arm up. Left hand behind the back, scoop the left hip back, left ribs up. And float that arm up. Hand down, both legs straight. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit of space in the backs of those legs. Inhale, arms out and up, rise to the sky. One more time, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. 
Inhale, right arm up to the sky. That left knee bends. Right hand behind the back. Float the arm up. Both hands to the mat. Inhale, both legs straight, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Bend your right knee, right hand down, left arm up, inhale. Hand behind the back, spin those left ribs back on the exhale. Inhale, float the arm up. Exhale, both hands to the mat, full forward fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Ground and rise, press into the mat with the feet, lift the heart. Exhale, mountain pose, samastitihi. Let's take our plank. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Now that you're nice and loose, let everything drop. Inhale, half fold, heart lifts. Let's step back into our forearm plank. Come on to your forearms. Take a few minutes to get grounded in a few minutes. We're only here for a couple of them. So take a few, take a, a moment here to get grounded in your pose. Tuck the toes under, really press the heels back. Shoulders are over the elbows since we're on our forearms. Belly's lifted. Full body pose, right? Push down into the palms, hug those elbows back, open the collarbones. Really feel that drawing under the armpits. Is your belly lifted? Scoop it. Tailbone, undo a little bit. So you've got deep core connection. You've got that little bit of front body connected. Squeeze your thighs. Right? Lift up those kneecaps. Strong glutes, butt muscles. Super active here. Gaze is ahead of you. One more breath here. And then we're going to walk it into high plank. So come up onto your palms. And if you need to, you do this from your knees. And we're just going to do some scapular push-ups, butterfly push-ups, right? Round out your upper back. Spread your shoulder blades. And then draw your shoulder blades together. So we're not lifting our bum up and down here. We're just using our upper back. Spread it out. Squeeze under your armpits. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, round out the upper back. Hug the elbows back. And squeeze the shoulder blades together. Are you still connected to your center? Since we're just focusing on this upper part, squeeze it together, round it out. Legs, glutes, did you lose that connection? Find it, round out, squeeze it together. Just a couple more, round out, and squeeze into the shoulder blades, round it out, and together back to neutral. We come forward all the way down to the belly. So rock your thighs underneath you. Rest your palms on top of each other. Rest your forehead down. And let's reach through the feet. We're going to bend the right knee. So you're just bending and straightening out. Bend the right knee. Get into the back of the leg. Point your toes here. If it's a lot on the calf, then relax it a little bit. Okay. So just bending and placing it down. And one more time on the right side. And down, let's switch, left leg, bend the knee, and back down to the mat. So as you're doing this, just kind of feel what's working in your body here. Can you feel the glute a little bit more on the left side? If not, find some engagement there. The hamstrings, the calf muscle with that ballet point. Good, and one more time. So let's go a little bit deeper. We're going to crisscross the left arm in front. You can rest your forehead here. Bend your right knee. Press the top of the left foot down. So we're reaching back, grabbing the outside of the foot or using your strap. Push your foot into your hand and feel the chest starting to pull open by that action. So the leg is very active. Start to lift the chest up if you have space. Breathe. Half bow pose. If you have more space, this forearm comes closer and you lift a little bit higher. Press the foot into the hand, belly strong here. If you have the strength, we'll lift that leg up and the space. And release. Let's switch the crisscross. Right arm in front, forehead rests on it. Reach back, grab your left foot. Top of the right foot pushes down. Push your foot into your hand. Lift the chest. Breathe. Strong center. 
if your lower back bothers you here, don't come as high. Keep the pubic bone grounded and strong, strong center. For those of you that have a little more space, lift yourself up. Maybe that back leg comes up and release. And press yourself up onto the hands and knees. Let's take a couple of cats and cows here. Drop your belly, lift your chest and round it out. And inhale. Exhale. And one more, inhale. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Just take a moment in your down dog. You can pedal it out if you'd like, or you can just hold it, static dog. And find your pose, find the elements of your pose. Starting with your hands, all 10 fingers spread and pushing. Making sure those elbows aren't popping out to the side, kind of hug them back a little bit, squeeze into the armpits. Crown of the head is dropping, so there's no tension in the neck, but all the way back. If you're tight here, knees are bent, right? Remember that, get length in your spine. Toes spread, thighs active, heels down for those of you that have that space. And we float the right foot to the top of the mat and turn ourselves sideways. So feet are parallel. They're even with each other. They're lined up, hands to the mat or to your block. Let your head drop. Breathe. Let's get grounded through the feet, outer ankles pressing down. We need caps lifting up those quads. Shift your weight to the front of your feet. So you're going to shift your weight. So basically bring your hips forward a little bit. So the front of the feet really ground and push down and then push your heels down without your bum popping back, right? So heels down, feel the backs of the legs getting a nice opening. Hands to the waist, inhale, rise. Keep your hands on your waist. We're gonna fold again, elbows back, chest, heart leads the way, but we have control here in our centers. Fold, let the head drop. Deep breaths. Inner thighs hugging in, outer ankles pushing down. Again, find where your weight is. If you find that you'll automatically sink back, pull it forward, get those legs active. Inhale, rise. Arms out to the side, interlace your hands behind your back, pull your palms back. So the heel of the palm is touching, a little bend to the elbows, fold, shoulders roll back here. And same idea, every time you fold, check, have I started to sink back? Pull yourself forward, get those legs active, hug those inner thighs in, and then pull your palms away from your back. A little bend to the elbows. Deep breaths, crown of the head drops. Maybe you roll the shoulders a little bit to get a little bit more opening in the chest. One more breath here, ground through your legs. Inhale with a flat back, hug those front ribs in, pull yourself up, hands back to the waist, deep breath in. We take a yogi toe lock, fold forward, and index and middle finger on the inside of the big toe, thumb on the outside. If you cannot access this, take the same one that we did when we first folded, just here, maybe with your block. You could always rest on your thighs with bent knees as well if you need to. So from here, if you have the full fold and the yogi toe lock, shoulders away from the ears, Elbows up to the sky, crown of the head down. And find your pose, right? Where's your body in your pose? Can you find a little bit more middle ground here? Deep breath. Holding onto your, your toes, inhale. Bring yourself up as high as you can with your chest. And hands to the waist. Inhale, rise, back up, and one more, fold forward. These are our right angle forward folds, our Sarada Padottanasana. So we're gonna take our left hands in the middle of the mat, and either that left knee is gonna bend, or you're going to go for straight legs. Reach the right arm up to the sky, right hand behind the back. Scoop this right, just kind of like our Uttanasana fold that we did our twisted fold at the beginning of class. Hug those thighs in, pull the right ribs up, 
float the right arm up to the sky, both hands down to your mat. Inhale, half fold. You may need to come higher, right, to get the chest open. Fold, right hand down. Maybe that right knee bends. Maybe it's straight. Reach the left arm up. Shoulders back. A little bend to the elbow so you don't hyperextend. Pull the left ribs up to the sky. Make sure you're not swinging. Have this be more on a neutral plane here. Pull the left ribs up. Breathe. Ground through those outer ankles, float the left arm up, both hands down to the mat, inhale, half fold, exhale, full fold. Let's step to the top of our mat and take a flip step back, sit pose, and chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing, find your back body, draw your pelvis forward, exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath. Right foot floats to the top of the mat. Left knee drops. Let's rise up into our low lunge. Woo. Go around through your foot and your back knee there. Lift, lift your heart up. Take a couple deep breaths here. Just kind of drawing this left hip a little bit forward if you have the space. We're going to take our right hand to our waist and left arm is up. And just tilt over to reach these left fingers to the right. And just kind of feel from the hip, maybe the side body, the waist a little bit. Just opening up. And if you need to, you place a blanket under that back knee. Try to keep the spine tall, right? So you're not doing this. And let's float the arms up to the sky. Breathe. Open the arms out to the side. So we're turning to the right. We're twisting to our front leg. Back toes tuck under. Push that back knee off of the mat. Drop your right hand back down to your thigh or just wherever it can reach. And left arm up. We're twisting our crescent. Spin your right ribs back. Foot it back to center with control. Hands to your mat. Step back. Plank toes. Chaturanga. Inhale, really use your legs in your upward. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, right knee drops, rock on top of that kneecap if you need to. Float the arms up. Breathe, maybe you can start to find a little space in that right hip flexor. Front of the right thigh there. Uh, which hand are we doing? Left hand to the waist, right hand reaches to the left. Keep drawing this front leg hip in, left hip in. Reach. Maybe that right pelvis goes forward a little bit. Right ribs pressing to the side. Go around through your front foot, float the arms up. And open out to the side. We're going to turn to this front leg. Pull those left ribs back. Breathe. Back toes tuck. Back knee off the mat. Reach your left hand back towards your right thigh. And reach the right arm up to the sky. Spin the left ribs back. Float the arms up. Float the hands down. We step back. Plank pose. Chaturanga, bring yourself actually to your belly. Rock your thighs under you. Forehead on the mat, bend your knees, grab your feet. And you can use your strap here. So push your feet into your hands. Get connected to your center. Lift your chest. Full bow pose. So you start low. Right, it doesn't have to be that high. If you have more space, feet go back a little bit more. Chest lives a little, lifts a little bit more, and thighs up. And if you have the space, those toes can touch the back of your head. Go for it. Lift your chest and release. Let's press back. Child's pose. Sink your hips back. So press yourself as far back to your heels as you can, and really push to get that length in. Let everything drop. Passive child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here. Draw all of that energy in.
One more breath. reach the arms up overhead, come up onto the hands and knees, and we're going to stand on our knees. So this, you can, uh, we're going to come into, uh, what are we coming into? We stress in a camel pose. If you need to, you put supports behind you to hold on to here, or you can just hang out here. Chest up, gaze back. So pelvis a little forward, as long as that doesn't bother your lower back, right? Belly in, we're lifting our torsos up and out of our hips. Gaze back. If you have a little more room, hands to the heels or your support. If you have more room, you can flatten out your feet and then sink back from here. Keep lifting the chest. One more deep breath here. Hands back to the waist. Come back onto your hands. Let's take a deep cat pose. Round it out. Once again, drawing energy inwards. And come back to neutral. Swing yourself around to seated. Legs out in front. So we're going to take a seated windshield wiper here. Rest back onto your palms. Just lean back and drop your knees up and over to the right and left. Try to get all the way over. Have your feet pretty wide apart. And then we're going to transition to doing this with no hands, right? So up and over and up and over. And this might not be accessible for you, right? So if that's the case, try it with one hand and just have one hand up, right? Maybe the other hand, just see which one works for you. And then eventually you can get to the point where you're doing this with both hands off the mat. Up and over, up and over. Good, one more time. Up and over, I keep inching forward here. So come back, release the legs out in front and we'll take our fire log pose. Right ankle up and over, above the left thigh. If you're tight here, you're gonna keep this bottom leg straight. Otherwise stack your shins. So shin on top of shin, foot and knee are aligned with each other on both sides, right? This foot's on top, this foot's underneath. Even out your butt bones. This is where props come in handy. Blankets under your seat, blankets in all of those spaces, right? To support you. Let's fold. Take a forward fold. Press through the heels, right? Try to scoop the pinky toe side of your foot under you. Try to lengthen your spine first, right? Torso long, over the legs. Then let yourself drop. Soften your hips. Let the upper body get heavy. Allow the head to drop. Breathe into your hips. Soften that right hip, soften the right groin. Let's walk our hands to the left. So we're gonna just turn, keep the right ribs down and just reach as far to the left as you can. Press your right sitting bone down. So don't let it turn up when you start to sprint, spin to the left. Scoop that hip under you, right side. And let's walk our hands over to the right and rise up into a twist. Pull those right ribs back. This time our left hip grounds. Always think about rising and spinning up the spine. Both shoulders back here. Come back to center. Let's make our way to the other side. Let's shake it out. Left foot up and over, right foot underneath. Stack the shins. Again, bottom leg straight for those of you that are tight here or you're fully supported and press through the heels. Let's take a moment, breathe, lift your torso, walk yourself forward, heart leads the way until it can't anymore, right? And then you fold. Use your breath, let everything drop. Let's soften that left hip.
Soften all around the hip, inner thigh, outer hip. See if you can target the breath to find more space there. Breathe into your hips. Let's walk our hands over to the right and those left ribs draw down. That left hip scoops under you, grounds. Head is heavy. Breath is steady. Let's walk our hands over to the left and come up into a twist. So rise up, ground that right hip down, lift. Back hand holds you tall, spin around your spine. Pull those um, left ribs back. Gaze over that left shoulder. Deep breath. Spin it open. Come back to center, release. And let's make our way into Shavasana. Final resting pose. Blankets under the knees or the head, if that's comfortable for you, or more comfortable. And of course, blanket yourself if you need to. So let's find space. We just created all this space. So don't lose that in your Shavasana. Close your eyes once you're comfortable. Check in with your breathing. Make sure that you're allowing the breath to flow on its own. Shavasana is a complete surrender. A letting go. So the eyes are closed. The body is heavy in the mat. No activation anywhere. And Shavasana is our corpse pose. So this is a death of sorts, a letting go. Everything you've chiseled away at in your practice today, release it into the earth. The earth will transmute that energy. Feel the lightness in the letting go. Bring your awareness to the tips of your toes. Move your awareness over your feet. The ankles. The lower legs. The knees. The upper legs. The hips. The bowl of the pelvis. the abdomen, and the rise and the fall of the belly. Bring your awareness to the tips of your fingers, the hands, the wrists, the lower arms, the elbows, the upper arm, the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the center of the chest and the heart center. Be aware of the neck and the throat. The breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. The space between the eyes. Drop your gaze deep within. Look behind the eyes. Rest your attention here for another few moments.
bring your awareness back to your breathing. Come back to your body, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head. Hug your knees into your chest and rock yourself gently back and forth. Feel all that space you created today. With the eyes closed, make your way to your side into fetus position and press yourself up to seated. Sit tall. Take your palms to prayer seal all of the work you just did in between your hands, thumbs to the sternum, draw the chin in. Bow your head forward and bow down to your ability to let go, to find space, and to trust that it's okay to let go of the things that do not serve you. There's always something there to fill that space. Have it be joyful. So bow down to your heart and your light, that place of joy. Honor that space within yourself. Recognize that space within all beings and from deep within your heart. Let us send our collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Now take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale and head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. So today we do that same. And mixed them up. <laughs> Ah, this is a good one. Forgiveness. So much power in forgiveness. Number two, communication, which is required for forgiveness. And number three, intention. It's a good combo. Tomorrow is our weekly yin practice. So I will see you back here for more. Bye.